The military operation of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region has been going on for the eighth day. Kiev has brought two more new brigades into the battle, the 82nd and the 95th. Western military experts write that there are currently six Ukrainian armed forces brigades and two more battalions in the Kursk region. In total, there are about 15,000 Ukrainian servicemen, Forbes reports. Now Kyiv will be able to extend its offensive, even if Moscow transfers reinforcements to the Kursk region. Military expert Rob Lee said Kyiv had to withdraw some of its battalions from Pokrovsk, Chasovyar and Toretsk. However, a statement by Kyiv regarding the creation of a military administration in the Kursk region indicates that Ukraine intends to be there for a long time. Russia has deployed nine motorized, airborne and Arctic brigades and they outnumber the Ukrainian defenders. At the same time, the Kremlin is not going to curtail its military operations in Donbass. At the same time, employees of the Ukrainian Center for Strategic Studies announced the appearance of new battalions of the Russian armed forces in Donbass. The front line in Kursk is still changing as the fighting is taking place not so much in open areas as in forests. Ukrainian defenders have already captured many conscripts and the Russian armed forces are relying more on ambushes in forested areas. Experts write that Russia has already lost several of its aircraft in Kursk and Ukraine has lost one MiG aircraft. To stop the advance of the Ukrainian armed forces, the Kremlin will have to transfer additional troops to the Kursk region. Sahi Bratchuk, spokesman for the Ukrainian Volunteer Army South, reveals what troops Russia is likely to have moved from southern Ukraine to the Kursk region and whether this is felt at the front. It hasn't made a drastic impact yet, and it's not something that happens overnight. We understand and see this. Regarding the Kursk region, their North Troop Group is stationed there, attempting to counter Ukrainian forces using internal reserves, possibly setting up the first and even a second defense line. As for the units moved towards Kursk from the south, we suspect these might be airborne troops from the Kherson area, though I stress this information needs verification. Russian troops are constantly shifting in this region, maybe up to two battalions, but that's probably the most we can confirm at this point, Bratchuk stated. Additionally, he noted that the Russians might have redeployed some of their troops from the Zaporizhia region. Ukrainian forces destroyed a bridge over the Syme River in the Glushkovsky district in Russia's Kursk Oblast. Photos and videos purporting to show the destroyed bridge were published by the Russian Telegram channels, which claimed the bridge had been struck multiple times. The footage was taken by Russians walking on the bridge. The strike was carried out by a HIMARS missile. According to the Russians, the bridge was hit four times before, and this is the fifth. As a result of the impact, the car on the bridge caught fire and its occupants died. About 30 settlements near the village of Glushkovo, approximately 150 kilometers from Kursk, have been cut off due to the attack. Air Force Commander Mikola Olshchuk posted later a video showing the attack on the Russian bridge. The insider reported that the Glushkovsky district has three bridges across the Syme River, with the other two located near the settlements of Zvano and Kuriz. Roman Aliokin, an advisor to Kursk Oblast's acting governor and a Russian pro-war blogger, also claimed that Ukrainian forces are targeting the bridge in Zvano, about 7 kilometers from Glushkovo, in an attempt to seize part of Kursk Oblast along the river.